Hello, Asha. My name is Mazam Nazir, and I'm a PhD student in Clemson University. My question from you is: How is IIT contributing to sustainable and resilient grids across the globe? Hi, hi, Cham. My name is Otter Takeda. I'm doing a PhD in material science at the University of Arizona. We see how Internet of Things or artificial intelligence can help to improve the energy infrastructure for better energy distribution or for better energy usage. What kind of technological breakthrough are you looking for the most to solve the energy problem? I'm Wasim Hawataro. Thank you for your your questions. We believe that the future of energy will be highly interconnected with electricity as the backbone. And Hitachi or Hitachi Energy has an intelligent grid as solution that uses technology innovation to help drive energy auto- autonomy and effectively manage renewables and distributed energy resources together. Decarbonization and renewable technologies, they'll be critical to solving this energy problem, but we need to find alternatives to coal and diesel. So things like hydrogen, out of bio alternatives, renewable deployment will affect energy usage, battery technologies, integration with fuel cells will also be critical. As you start to diversify the energy renewable sources, we have to start thinking about how do you manage these energy sources together? So there's going to be this natural conversion between energy and and digital or green and digital uh, in a way that they need to work cohesively. Uh, digitalization will use things like IoT and analytics and AI to optimize all elements of the energy value chain from grid all the way to the the energy source and and down to 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 the plug. How does the grid handle all of that as one? This takes a significant amount of collaboration between the private and public sector working with utility companies working with power generation, power transmission companies, working with EV companies. It's technology around managing and balance. So this is the whole digital piece of things. But it also takes um, a a value chain level of collaboration across a value chain that's been mostly fragmented for many, many years that need to come together and make this a reality.